Question two is coming from resolving of forces. They are saying three coplanar forces of magnitudes P, 5, and 10 act at a point O as shown in the diagram. The resultant of the three forces has magnitude Q and acts in the direction perpendicular to the force of magnitude P. Now, what does this one mean? If the resultant of the forces acts in the direction that is perpendicular to the force of magnitude P, where is P? P is here. So the resultant of the forces uh, has to either act here because that will be the perpendicular or here. Okay, so that means that the resultant of the forces in Y, okay, in the vertical axis is zero. It is not there, so the resultant is only on X. So when we are resolving the forces, so we need to first resolve the forces. Remember, if I take this one here to this, this will be a 90. So now this will be based on this angle. This will be the hypotenuse. This will be the opposite. And then this will be the adjacent. So we need to get the horizontal component of this force and also the vertical component. So we need to pull this one here. And then we also pull it here so that we get the vertical component and then the horizontal component. Now for the horizontal component, you can see this is the hypotenuse. And then it is being put on the adjacent. And that way, using Sokatoa, adjacent and hypotenuse are connected by cosine, okay? So that means we shall have 10 here, the cosine of 30, and then 10 sine. So I always say closing because I'm putting this one here, so I'm closing this angle. So when you hear me say closing, that will be the cosine, okay? Closing is cosine, then opening is sine. So what I usually do, I always draw. Uh, a diagram here that represents those forces. Now, let's look at this one. There is... Now, let's look at this one. Uh, all of these forces, we already see that P here is on the vertical. We only resolve the forces that are not uh, in the direction of x-axis or y-axis. Okay? So, we only have this one and this. Now, P is already there, so I will leave it there. Then, I have... Close the 5 here, so that will be cosine down, right? We shall have 5, then cosine of 60. Then when you open it up here, it will be a sine. So it will be 5, then sine of 60 degrees. So we come to this one here. We put it here, we close, that will be a cosine. So that will be 10, then cosine of 30 degrees. And then when you open it up, it is going to be a sine. So we will have 10, then sine of 30 degrees. Okay. Now from there, just like I've said, based on what they have given us here, uh, that simply means that the resultant, the resultant in Y is equal to what? Zero. So the resultant in Y uh, we have these forces that are going up uh, are equivalent to this force that is going down, such that they cancel out, okay? Now, we shall have P plus 5 sine of 60 degrees. Then this one will be equivalent to 10 sine of 30 degrees. So meaning P is going to be equal to 10. Sine 30 is a half. So a half times 10 uh, that will be 5, then plus 5, sine, I, I think that one will be a minus, sorry. We shall have a minus here, because when this one crosses, it will be that minus. And then sine of 6 is root 3 over 2, so it will be minus 5 root 3 over 2. I can leave it there, or I can put it to uh, three significant figures, okay? So let's check 5 minus 5 root of 3, then over 2. That one will give us 0 0.6698, uh, six, whatever, but to three significant figures, we shall have 0 0.670. So our P is going to be 0 0.670, three significant figures. Okay, then next, uh, we have to find a value of Q 
I had forgotten Q. Or they said the resultant of the forces has magnitude Q. So the resultant force, resultant force is actually going to be equal to Rx, the resultant in the x direction. So we need to see this one and this one, uh, which one is bigger. Okay, cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. 10 cosine of 30, what do we get? That is 5 root 3. Uh, in decimals, it is 8.66. Then how about cosine of 60? Cosine of 60 is, of course, a half. So times 5, that one will give us 2.5. So that means this one is bigger than this. So meaning our Q, the resultant of the forces, so this one, we shall get this one, then subtract this one. That one will be equal to 10 cosine of 30, then minus 5 cosine of 60. So what is Q here? 10 cosine of 30, we have seen that is the same as 5, then root of 3. Then we can subtract uh, 2.5. And that one will give us 6.16 to three significant figures. Three significant figures. That is that.